the problem with us is we don't want to go to the place where we can learn, and if we at the place where we can learn, we allow the enemy to steal our thoughts and to steal our focus away from him because we're not focusing on the fact that when we come to church, Satan's design and his desire is to steal from you what God has for you, so we're not looking to recognize it, the fact when something happens to take our attention, not to pay attention to it. Amen. We don't focus on it fact that the car horns and, and the booms and, and, and the noises is this there. God says, Satan, where you come from? I came searching. I came looking. I know who, who's easily distracted. Right, right. I know who don't pay attention. I know who can't hold a thought no more than 15, 20 minutes. I know who can't focus in on stuff. I know the people who walk all the time. I know the people whose mind drift away. And what we need to learn is to learn who we are and know what scriptures are used to say. I'm not going to do it today. Amen. Not me. I'm going to come to church and pay attention today. I'm going to come to church and not walk today. Yeah. I'm going to come to church and not sit next to the person that talks to me today. Not me. Amen. Because I'm determined. I'm going to learn. I'm determined to get the education that I need. I'm determined. I can do it and I might not do it no other time but starting today why? Yes. You really gonna let God waste his time watching over you and you not gonna take advantage of the fact that you serve a God that wants to pour into you? Amen. I think people know the scriptures just because you know, they pay attention. They focus. Don't you know Satan wants you to cuss somebody out mm. so he's going to make that person come around you That's right. just for you to cuss them out and make them do what they do just so you can lose it and tell them off and go off on them. Mm. Don't you know that? Amen. Oh God, I say, where you come from, man? Where you, where you come from, Satan? Man, I've been distracting people for the last 20 years. And the people I distract is funny, God. They don't never stop me from distracting them. They pray, but... When it comes time to answer the prayer, they don't pay attention to what I'm telling them the answer to the prayer is. God, I need help studying. I need help studying. And every time you try to study, oh man, my show finna come on and you turn on the TV. God, I need a healing. God, I need a healing. God, I need a healing. And God's gonna tell you what to do to get your healing. And the phone rings. So you don't get your healing until you can't figure out why you keep going to church and nothing changes. Because you haven't realized and recognized the fact that Satan rose and he's going to and fro and God trying to talk to you and minister to you. And when God's trying to minister to you, you're constantly not paying attention. Amen. Could you imagine Pastor Mun's knocking on your door? You've been praying for food. You've been praying for food. You've been praying for food and God put on his heart. Go take them some food. Go take them some food and God ready to answer your prayer. When God's trying to answer your prayer, you sleep. You fasting for food and he's knocking at the door and you sleep. Because you watch TV all night. When God told you to go to bed because he knew the next day the pastor month was going to be knocking because he was praying. Say, God, is there anything you need me to do? God, Amen. is there anybody you need me to talk to? God, is there anything I could do to be of help? And when God answers your prayer, you're busy doing something else because you're not listening to what God is telling you to do. And the sad part, this is what grown people do. Amen. People spend all of their lives in church and don't learn anymore. People spend all of their lives in church and they go to church and don't pay attention. People spend all of their lives in church and still go to hell. Amen. Because they was under the impression, all I need to do is go to church and don't need to change. All I need to go to church, I don't need salvation. All I need to go to church, I don't need the Holy Spirit. All I need is to go to church, but I don't need any other education. Because all they want to do is just go to church. It's sad. In the realities, Adam, it's not enough just to go to church and play the organ and die and go to hell. Amen. Amen. And the place that we need to go to learn, we don't like going. 
we're cold with this. I'm going to go right back to the very beginning. When I ask everybody to turn to the scripture that says, I will lift my eyes into the hills. For what cometh my help, my help comes from the Lord. If your help comes from the Lord, and the Lord is trying to help you, you ought to really do and listen to the person that is trying to help you. Minister Hunter used this example and it applies to everybody here. We was at the Salvation Army Friday, and the guy was talking, the guy was talking. One guy asked Minister Hunter, tell me what I need to know to change my life. Tell me what I need to know. And another guy was there talking and he's talking. He wasn't really trying to hear what Minister Hunter was saying. The Minister Hunter said, well, I haven't did a certain thing in 20 years. The minister Hunter said, the least you should do is listen to what I have to say. And it can help you not do certain things in 20 years. The least you should do is do what I tell you to do and it can help you because it's working for me. If you have a God that is willing to help you, the least you should do is listen to what he has to tell you, and it'll change your life. Amen. Amen. The least you should do is be to listen to what he has to say. And since you listen to what he has to say, he oftentimes says, study. Yes. The God that you say you serve, the God that you say you believe in, the God that you say you worship, the God that you say you're going to go spend eternity with, that same God tells you to study. Yes, yes, amen. amen. That the next time somebody says, okay, we're going to open up the Bible to the scripture that says, I will lift my eyes unto the hills, but will come with my help. If you deem it important to know that two plus two is four, it is far more valuable. The Word of God is far more valuable. The Scriptures is far more valuable because the Scriptures will help save your soul. Amen. And if your soul is really important to you, I'm going to say it again. You ought to go to Sunday school. Amen. Amen. You ought to go to Bible study. Yes, yes. You ought to call somebody up and say, will you study with me? Because for the strangest reason, everybody go to church on Sunday. But everybody won't go to Bible study. Amen. 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 Everybody likes the crowd of Sunday morning service. But nobody likes the crowd of Sunday school. Mm. And Sunday school and Bible study is a place where you go to to help you understand what they're talking about on Sundays. Amen. Because it's a shame to hear Pastor Munn preach or Minister Hunter preach or me preach. Evangelist Walks, my wife, we preaching and we preaching. And you have no clue what we're talking about. That's like going to the movies and the movies in Japanese or Spanish. And you don't speak Spanish. Let us all please stand. Imagine Pastor Mun up here preaching and he said everything in Spanish. And no one here speaks Spanish. You have no clue what we're talking about. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you, we pray, God, and we ask you. Help you unite the house of God. Yes, Lord. God, I pray that everybody will come to Sunday school. Amen. Amen. I say a prayer, God, and I pray and I ask you, God, that your people would be ever so serious about learning your word. Yes, Lord. God, that they would have a not me attitude. That I won't go to church and not know the scriptures. I won't go to church and not know your word. Amen. I won't go to church and not know what they're talking about. Amen. I'm going to take your word, God. I'm going to study it. I'm going to learn it. And I will apply it to your life. My life, not me. I won't be in church and not know what the books of the Bible. I won't be in church and not know what the preacher is talking about. Amen. I won't be in church, God, and, and not know anymore after being there 20 years and the day I start. Not me, God. I'm going to learn your word. I'm going to know your word. I'm going to write your word upon the tablets of my heart. That way, when the enemy comes to me, I will be able to fight the devil with the word. Yes, yes. I've been to speak the word of life into my life. 
man. I will speak life and not death. On my own self. I'm going to Bible study. I'm going to study the word of God. I'm going to know the word of God. I'm going to live in Bible study. That way when the preacher preach on Sunday, I know what he's talking about. Amen. I won't be deceived. Yeah. You won't be to just tell me any old thing. Right. I will know the difference between what's right and what's wrong. I'll be able to rightly divide the word of God because I know it for myself, not me. You won't be able to trick me. You won't be able to fool me. Yeah. I won't be deceived. Not me because I will know the word of God. Amen. They asked me to explain the word. I'll be able to explain it. Why? Because not me. I will take the time to learn what thus says the Lord. Yes. Yes. I won't be depressed because I know the Lord will never leave me. I know he'll never forsake me. The devil won't be to tell me I'm all by myself yes. because I will know that my God suffers no do he sleep. He's always right here with me. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Lord. I'll know where to go when I need help. Yes. I'll know what scripture to go to to encourage myself. <laughs> Not me. Not me. I won't do it. Not me. The devil won't be able to steal my joy. Yeah. He won't be able to steal my hope. He won't be able to steal the knowledge of knowing that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Yeah. Not me. Bless this church, God. Bless you, United House of God. Yes, yes. Please bless us, God. Yes. To be a Bible believing, a Bible teaching church. Yes, Lord. Please, Heavenly Father. These are the blessings we ask in the name of Christ Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let us all say amen.